Hi, this is Pad Love with Pat's Two Cents. I'm reading a comment from one of our regular viewers. Her name is Carol, and she's responding to a video that I did over a month ago that dealt with family pain, those you damaged. It's time. Help them heal. I believe that's the title. Now, this is what she wrote as a comment to what I said on the video. Pat, the Lord is really speaking to you more intensely during this time. I just shared with you about the experience of my husband's ex-wife passing. But during this time, something else happened, which this video is right on point with. So not only was my husband married before, but I as well. The man I married was a heavy drinker. He did not have anything to do with his own two biological children. He said he didn't like their mother and didn't want to see them because she was a troublemaker. Sadly, <laughs> wow, what an excuse. Sadly, I was naive and believed all his baloney and excuses. I had two children of my own who were about the same age as his kids. I was not a drinker and was a hard worker. Being in my 20s, and again, naive, I thought this man could be a father to my children. Boy, was I wrong. Anyway, after five years of emotional abuse from this man, I started to finally see the light. Toward the end of the relationship, I reached out to his two children, who were then about 16 years old. The boy wanted nothing to do with the father, but the girl said she'd like to see him, so I picked her up and brought her to my home to surprise him. After all, for years, he bragged about them both. So when I <laughs> got them to the house, he just looked at her, said hello, and for the rest of the day, was not around. I spent the day with her because I felt so badly about how he behaved towards her and got to know her better. A very pretty and smart young lady. Soon after this, he was gone and eventually we were divorced. I have stayed somewhat in touch with the young lady over 20 years plus here and there. I always asked if she ever heard from her dad. She never did. We both thought with his drinking, he must have passed away. Fast forward to a couple of weeks ago. I received a message from her. She said of all the places he would have ended up, he was actually in a nursing home in the town where she lives. He has dementia from years of drinking and smoking. She didn't know what to do. Go visit this man that rejected her so many times. Make peace with him? What? Anyway, you see, her own mother, who she adored, passed away a few years ago, and she didn't want to be disloyal to her memory by seeing a man who left them all. Wow. I told her to do what she felt best, but if it were me, I'd go see him and have closure. Besides, he's in a wheelchair. Where can he go? <laughs> he has to hear you out. So she did go see him. She said she felt he sort of recognized her. But all he kept saying to her is, You are so beautiful. You are so beautiful. I don't know how much time this man has on this earth, but surely this is all God allowing her to heal a little. God is truly working on people's hearts in these last days in some very unexpected ways. Your video reminded me, you truly are hearing from God in a mighty way, Carol. Wow. Okay, this is Pat's Two Cents. Listen, you guys. A lot of times we don't realize how we waste all possibilities of having beautiful relationships with our family members. During these last days, it's a very good time to start reconciling, don't you think? 
Don't you think it's time to put away all the silly excuses and all the lazy ways we have and the, the areas that we have totally, totally either discarded, that we have totally neglected, areas where we really need to reconcile and, and heal, help each other heal. It's time for that now. Because see, what we don't get is when it's time for us to draw our last breath or when it's time for Jesus to come call his people home. Guess what? If you have not reconciled those areas, you're going to have to answer for them. And you, the price is going to be probably a higher price than what you want to pay eternally. Don't you think it's a good idea to handle it now in the land of the living here on earth while you still have time? A whole lot of people can be healed, I'm telling you. One act of kindness can have an eternal weight of glory. Think about it.